Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3-18 from RC Hebeler Engineering Statics Squad Edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the forces in cables AC and AB needed to hold a 20 kg ball D in equilibrium. If F is equal to 300 newtons and D is equal to 1 liter. D is this distance. Just 1 meters. To solve this problem, first of all we have to draw a three body force diagram of point A. So I have one horizontal force which is force F and one vertical force. which is the weight of this ball and two forces at some angle now let's label them this is force F which is 300 newtons this is the weight of the ball which is equal to 20 into 9.81 it is equals to 196.2 newtons. This is force FAC and this is force FAB. Sorry, this is FAB and this is FAC. Now we can also resolve these two forces into their components. So I have one vertical component for the force FAB and one horizontal component. Similarly, I have one vertical component for the force FAC and one horizontal component. Let's call this angle right here alpha and this angle theta these components are fab cos alpha and this component is fab sin alpha and this component is fac sin theta and this component right here is FAC cos theta. Now we have resolved all the forces into their components. Now we can now we can find the unknown angles. So if we look into the figure then this angle right here is theta. And for alpha, if I draw two perpendicular axes right here, and if I close it, then this angle right here is alpha because this right here represents the vertical component of the force FAB and this represents the horizontal component of the force FAB so the angle right here is alpha now we can find the angles theta and alpha so if I zoom out for theta we have Ten theta is equals to one over two. Theta is equals to twenty six point six degrees. Now we can also find the angle alpha. For alpha, we have ten alpha is equals to one plus one point five. This distance 
also has to be added with 1 meter divided by 2 meters. So from here, alpha is equals to T1.3 degrees. Now we have also found the angles. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. For the equations of the equilibrium, we have some of the forces in x direction is equal to zero. I'm considering right hand side as positive. So we have F minus F. AC cos theta minus FAB cos alpha is equals to zero and we have 300 right here minus FAC cos theta is 26.6 degrees minus FAB cos alpha and alpha is 51.3 degrees is equals to 0. So from here we have 0 0.625 FAB plus 0 0.894 FSC is equals to 300 newtons. Let's call this equation now we have one more equation which is sum of the forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering upward direction as positive. So we have FAB sin alpha plus FSC sin theta minus 196.2 which is the weight of the ball is equal to 0. So from here we have FAB sin 51.3 degrees plus FAC sin 26.6 degrees is equal to 196.2. So we have 0.78 FAB plus 0.448 FAC is equals to 196.2 Newtons. Let's call this equation B. Now we have two equations and two unknowns so we can easily solve them so if we consider equation a and then we can make the fab a subject which is equals to 300 minus 0 0.894 fac divided by 0 0.625 Let's call this equation C. So put equation C in equation B in this equation right here. So we have 0 0.78 into 300 minus 0 0.894 FAC divided by 0 0.625 plus 0 0.448 FAC is equals to 196.2. So from here, if we simplify it, then we have 
minus 1.115 FAC plus 0 0.448 FAC is equals to 196.2 on the further simplification so FAC is equals to 267 newtons now we have found the value of FAC now if you put it in equation C then this is equation C then we would have FAB is equals to 300 minus 0 0.894 into 267 divided by 0 0.625 FAB is equals to 98.1 newtons now we have found all the values we had to find the forces FAC and FAB so we have done it so this is it for this problem I hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any question about this problem then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible thank you